Morning. Bit like Groundhog Day again. Um, if people watched the live last night, there was another fire in the same field as there was the night before. Um, this time, two fire engines, police. Could have been actually could have been three fire engines. Um, all wasting valuable resources and time um, to put it out. So hopefully, police will get them. Must have somebody in the local area that gets a buzz for this sort of thing, setting fires. Um, I went down the yard to shut one of the gates. So I thought Andy and Em had left it open, but anyway, it, it wasn't. There was some bales in it. Anyway. And um, I thought it was just about the right time, or the same time as last night, because we were just getting dark. And I had a look, and there was a little flame, and a kid running across the field, lighting it in different places. So um, I got a little clip of that and called the police, so whether they can act on anything like that. Anyways, let's talk about some farming. Let's get back to farming, tractors, cows, all our business. And he's busy fetching the stuff out of the sheds so we can get going this morning. I am just pushing up the barley that's in the shed. So we cut some spring barley last night. We also cut the wheat. So I'm just trying to make a bit more room. Push it all up. There's the nine meter beast. It does some rocking and ro rolling when it's uh, all the way out there. But I've got the spikes on because we're gonna stack up some straw. Andy's on it, bedding the cows down. Another morning, another cow's bedding down. So today this is what I'm going to be busy with, stacking bales. Um, we've got all the bales to collect from the field that we were combining yesterday. My dad got finished baling last night with that. And um, then I think we've got some more baling to do as well. Um, I think Don's got a bit for us to do. So we're going to be busy again. Probably going to be busy until it rains. And then we'll be busy catching up on jobs when it rains. I think that's Monday. Sunday or Monday, I think it's going to rain. We've had our coffee now. Andy and my dad have gone down to the um, field to collect the bales that we were baling yesterday when we were combining. And me and Em are in the yard. I've been unloading bales and now I'm going to try and make some space for um, some more bales because we're sort of running out of space now um, without moving some equipment and some tarmac. So, yeah, I'm going to get on with that while I've got a little bit of time. Sorting the diesel out. Morning, Em! Andy's just there, taking another trailer down to the field. Getting that sorted. I've come into a problem. Time to ring Yorkshire Industrial Tires, I think, and get them to repair that. We called to James at Indu Yorkshire, Yorkshire Industrial Tires, and he's uh, getting sent a fitter out to sort it. Just easy as that, like, simplicity business. I'm just trying to move some of the stuff from all these crates and that go in front of my trailer and then um, we'll get a tractor on it, hook it up and pull it out. That's the plan. M's over there filling the baler up with band. Just giving that a check over so we're ready to go. So back down here, check out collecting some bales. Andy's taking his first load out there. Nice and steady. I'll get back to the farm in a minute and unload that. My dad's filling the load with the TM. He says these bales are a bit soft. He thinks grabbing them with the MX grab will uh, make the mess of them. Which is great. That, that sounds fun when I've got a stack them, doesn't it? Yeah! M's on it, look. Getting straps off. Um, it said something like last year the fire service um, went to 46 grass fires um, and this month they've been to 360. It 
Yeah. Um, it just doesn't need to happen, does it? Like, well, anyway, it does. The machine is getting full of straw. Straw everywhere, look. So I think it's about time I gave it a little clean down. So I don't want anything daft happening. It gets absolutely everywhere. It's in here. It's unreal where it gets. Just had my dinner. I'm gonna take M down now to the field. Um, but I'll just put in now the clip of the fire. I've been wondering whether to put any more fire stuff in because it's just like literally just getting full of images of fire at the minute on my channel but i just hope that by seeing the person starting it it might trigger somebody to think yeah that's could be this guy this could be that person and hopefully we can get them stopped so here it is so if you can see the black parts on the hill there that's where the fire was last night Right down into this bottom corner over here and on the separate field there. Somebody's lit it again, walking away from, running away from it now. Somebody's lit it and they're running across the field. And that's the same person there that's lit it. That's running off. So I'm just carrying on filming this. Report please. really going and burning up into the village or towards the village down there still some way off but hear the noise of it burning and crackling So this means that South Yorkshire Fire Service is going to have to come out to this. It's going to take probably quite a lot of their resources. Where they could be helping somebody in a traffic accident or saving somebody from a house. But no, they will come out and try and put out a fire. In a field. It looks like we've got the police coming in at, at Derry Grove there. I don't want to be seeing that site again. My service area now though. So I just just ran up the yard because a car came into the to the yard, but I think it was just to see what was happening. But just um, makes you wonder as to what's happening. It looks like we've got. Fire engine, another car coming through, and Derry Grove there. This is a lot worse than it was yesterday. 
a lot worse. What I would have liked to have done in that situation is got a set of discs, but we don't have any. We've just got a massive Watkins Trito, which is a really heavy piece of kit. And the only tractor that would pick that Watkins Trito up is this one here. Now let me just show you the problem that we've got. One, we've got the baler on it, right? Two, it's got no arms on it because we take them off to run the baler. So I can't put the Watkins Trito on this tractor until we drop the baler off put the arms back on it, pick up the Watkins Tritail, like in that time, you know, where, where are we? We're like half an hour, 45 minutes down down the line, if not longer, because putting them arms on is a bit of a, a bit of a pain really. So yeah, it'd be nice to have a light set of disc, a, a set of light disc just to be able to run through it, but we're not big arable farmers. We've not got that sort of equipment to be able to do it. So we were just at the mercy of the fire brigade um, to sort it out suggesting getting a water browser now we don't have any slurry so we don't have a slurry tanker we use all straw it's all straw bedded so we have no use for a slurry tanker and that would be an ideal situation like this time of year fill it with water like you've got it there to hand we're also not a big arable farm where you might need a water bowser to take with you to different fields where you can fill up your sprayer um, and we've not got one from like a past you know like a relic in the bottom of the yard or an old slurry tanker or something like that. we've not got anything like that so investing in something like that when the fire service is also just like so brilliant round here is just a hard one to make stack up and um, we already pay a hell of a lot of insurance premium and um, the insurers won't give you a cheaper insurance i assure you that if you've got a water bowser um and it's just all extra extra costs on an industry that's not a big profit margin industry that can afford to just have these things of as just in case i mean i'd love I'd love to be making enough money to be able to have a water bowser on standby um for, for these situations but the, the, the truth is that it just doesn't it just doesn't work like that in farming unfortunately M is off on an adventure in the tractor well, no, I'm just taking you down to my dad so you can pull the trail around for him. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna get a lift back up with Andy. Business. So we're in the field now. Andy and my dad are just filling a big berthe. Just gonna go give him a hand to strap it. And then he's gonna take this down and uh, pick the track, tractor up. Pick the trailer up, that's what I mean, Em. Yep, yep. yep. We're just keeping in the shade, but if you look down the field, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but yeah, you can. Just see the heat rising off it. We're in a desert. The tractor said 33 degrees in there. 33 degrees. Jesus. Everybody's got aircon. and has got absolutely exceptional aircon in there. Andy's got absolutely exceptional aircon in there. My dad's got absolutely exceptional aircon in his TM, wherever he is, over side of the trailer. What's Joe got? Yes, the Red Hot 9 meter. Fantastic. Oh, it not no, it didn't work, does it? Well, it, it just, it, it's like, probably working like 10%. Yeah. It's better than not having it on. But... Get yourself some vests, and Joe Seal's vests, then it'll be sorted. Yeah, Joe Seal's white singlets. <laughs> <laughs> This is what Andy wants really, that's what he's saying. <laughs> he's making me drive because he's absolutely got buckle in his pants <laughs> about getting out of this gateway. And um, it's not a nice road to drive for me for really. No. No. So he's just thrown me like, you know, it's just supposed to be his job and he's meant me do it. Well, he's showing me Joe. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, showing me how to drive. Staff training going on here. Yeah. Andy just fetching Big Bertha around, we'll get that emptied out. And stacked up. So Andy's just fetched us another load in now. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing most of the day, fetching bales in, stacking them, and um, trying to keep cool in this hot, hot weather. But I think this is probably where I'm going to leave it today, guys. Um, if you have liked today's video, then please press that like button. Um, subscribe if you've not already. 
Um, if anybody wants any of the merchandise, then it's uh, joeseals.com. You can get the hats and the t-shirts and, uh, and all that stuff. So, before I go, we've got a mix of mention today. It is O'Shan Powell. Um, your parents have sent in this mix of mention, donating to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. I hear that you love John Deere's and watching these videos every day, so thanks for the support on that one, O'Shan. If anybody else wants to support the Yorkshire Air Ambulance, then there's a link down in the description below, as long as I remember to put it in. Hopefully I will, and I'm not be too tired tonight to add that section. So check it out, see if the link's there. If it's not, put it in the comments. Joe, you've not done it, and it'll remind me. So anyway, I'm stopped babbling. See you later. Have a great birthday.